Hey friends, welcome to the Stationery Cafe Happy Hour. This is April from Penguins Creative, and we have Kelly from Kelly Love Letters here with me today, and we're going to talk about all things stationery and fun stuff in the community. So we're going to talk about something new, something we own, something in our shopping carts maybe. <laughs> But anyway, Kelly, what's up? How, how are you doing this week? Oh man, well, I, I realize, April, that you... Um have a quote-unquote normal job i today was my friday i just worked five days in a row uh which i don't usually do at my job <laughs> so i am wiped and then we just had this like snafu with my like recording file and it's really confusing and i want to cry but it's okay because we're all here together <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to talk about stationery so it's fine <laughs> yes Any uh, hints so, on the Hobonichi release? Oh Tempt my gosh, okay. Us. <laughs> anything, I, I'm not going to spoil anything at all, except it's amazing and you everybody's going to love it. Uh! <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I, I have screamed multiple times looking at the at the images. Um, all right, we, we can't crack Kelly. I guess we can turn to his stickerific. <laughs> like, Satu... <laughs> Or, or my contacts back home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited for, for everybody to, to, for us to look at that together. And April wants to do a, um, a, a watching part, or a, not a watching, a viewing party again. No, you, you got it right there. Watch party. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> a launch watch party as always yes super exciting we will go through every single page and then we will gush and ooh and ah last year there was some squealing and screaming involved <laughs> from yes, the definitely. certain host of a certain podcast <laughs> yeah. and shrieking i remember i i think oh, I, yeah. i think i definitely shrieked a few times see i, I got all that out of the way already so it's, <laughs> it's just gonna be you <laughs> We want the Kelly reaction. <laughs> well, you know how, like, when you look at things up close, especially with the lookbook, you know, mm -hmm. the, the people holding it in weird poses with I know, with oh, the lifestyle outfits. photos. That's, like, the best part, because I just get these, like, kind of Mini photos, weird looking, thumb, like, thumbnails, yeah. And literally every single cover has confidential over it, and, like, you can't even really see it that well, so it's... <laughs> yeah. I'm still sort of in the dark there, but... That's interesting how you guys have to make like business decisions based on I those know, tiny, tiny I know. images. Uh, I'm just that's... like, let's load it up. Let's go. Let's... <laughs> well, let's I, at least everything. we know we'll be expecting those, right? Well, okay. So yeah. what's new this week from you? Do you want to start first? So, get that out of yeah, the way? Yeah, sure. I wanted to start out by uh, having kind of a corrections corner. Um This really nice person, Tanya, from at Simple Things Edit on Instagram, she actually messaged me and was like, hey, just so you know, 8 Lotus is at the, the company that I mentioned last week about the ring planners. Um, 8 Lotus is actually Infinity Lotus. It's like an infinity sign. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's good to know. I should probably correct myself. And... Um, She also had suggested Poi and Hun, which is a company that also Phyllis has suggested to me like three times, <laughs> and uh, and also a compact ring Filofax, because I was complaining about the um, the bulkiness of this ring situation that I got myself started in. So <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there as some good knowledge. Um, but otherwise, do you want me to jump into this controversial situation, April? <laughs> go for it <laughs> <laughs> so so this this week um sailor decided to drop a new pen that not many people are excited about <laughs> um okay but let me just preface that by saying if you like this pen i'm not trying to attack you it's it's and i'm not Uh, proclaiming the opinions of anywhere I work at or whatever. It's just my own opinion on this pen. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's ugly. I don't... <laughs> I, <laughs> it's It seems a bit... The, the message behind it is a bit tone deaf on Sailor's part. It's... Uh, I know April also shared some some similar opinions to me on, on this one. Wait, uh, so describe the color first. So it's a pro gear, okay. right? Um, and... It's a pro gear. It's a transparent red pro gear. Like the body is a transparent red. 
the finials are both white, like, and the white is solid. It's not transparent. Mm -hmm. And then the grip section is a, like, transparent blue with, like, silver sparkles. And everything, the the hardware is all gold. Um, and actually, um, people were saying, like, it would probably look better if it was silver trim. And which I agree with. I, It's just very and it's called go usa which is just i you know it's a bit cringy and people are saying oh it's because of the olympics i'm like okay but like why is sailor doing that like they're <laughs> japanese <laughs> oh it's a sailor i just don't get it north america exclusive you gotta give it to that and yeah um but like <laughs> i think the problem here is not the pen itself the branding it's the marketing it's the yes. story they decide to put this pen behind that's right i agree and with it's that. It, like like you said it's kind of tone deaf right now i feel it immensely this morning i think did we both send it to each other or maybe it we was did another. we like i sent it to penguins creative and then you sent it to me from the stationery cafe and we both were like oh my god did you just send that to me <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's kind of like like at first glance it's just like wow they did this yeah like wow they did this and um coming from a place i already have a lot of sentiments being like an immigrant like coming to this country and then going through the horrible process of visa still ongoing and then with the past (laughs) year with the election and previously like all the things Mm. the racial societal things that's going on i i personally feel like um you know to, to really embrace the country and the flag in such a, I guess, surface level way mm-hmm. isn't really the way to go about it. Like, I, I, I feel like there's so much good things about the USA, as we will see and talk about, but like the Colorverse Inks and like all the other people that yeah. does like the 50 state stuff, so many cool things to unwrap and unpack, but they decide to just like, you know, color of the flag. This is USA. Mm-hmm. Go USA. Put aside our differences. Let's stand together. But I'm like, what about my green card? It's just a lot of different angles that just doesn't yes. sound quite right right now. I mean, it's also something something that just kind of seems like a slap in the face is, you know, the... I would just looked this up like a day ago. The um, 608,000 COVID deaths were number one. <laughs> And it's just kind of like, ooh, yeah, not really feeling like uh, celebrating that. You know what I'm saying? It's poor, like... poor pen, though, because, like, Color Combo, <laughs> there's actually a lot of other countries' flags that are also um, blue, red, and white. And, you know, that could really represent, like, a lot of beautiful color combinations. Like, this color combination is not bad. Like, some people say, hey... If this is a Captain America or a Captain Marvel pen, how cool <laughs> yeah, is that? I mean, <laughs> how cool I'd is be that? Okay like, with Captain Marvel, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> after that whole like you know comic anime like route, that would have looked cool. But to really like put a bow tie on this whole USA situation and like let's just ignore all the ugly parts. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out into the world again because I want this to happen. You know what you should do, Sailor North America? You should release a 1911 Sasquatch green with ion trim. You're missing out on a perfect opportunity here. <laughs> what about and rant. What about like the King of Pen version of that? Like, but you wanted the 1911. Like what? That, no, that would be perfect to have a King of Pen of the Sasquatch pen. Are you kidding? Like, <laughs> who wouldn't buy that? I would buy two. Just kidding. I would not do that. <laughs> It's just it's just hard to have a it's hard to have enthusiasm behind this. I guess yes. for the majority of people. Well not majority, half of the people I guess. But you know, there's only more than half. There's only <laughs> twelve hundred pens, so it's definitely gonna get bought up though. So <laughs> on to other news. <laughs> yes. What does April um, have for us? I saw this last week, right after we finished recording, like Japan, um, Mitsubishi which is Uniball, Mitsubishi Uniball did like a, a post on their Twitter and they apparently are also hopping on this whole like pandemic, like what can we do to sell to people offline without people coming to buy stuff? 
and then offer like some, I guess, digital, digital content. So they came mm-hmm. up with this thing called Uni uh, Rakito, <laughs> because when they, they don't say kit, they have to have the kito. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Uni La Kit essentially is the name, um, and it's mm-hmm. an online lesson that you can purchase. And they will also send you like a physical kit of cool Uniball products, Mitsubishi Uniball products that like you know are used in the kits. So think mm. Craftsy with like mm-hmm. the physical bundle goodie. So Art Craftsy meets Art Snack, I imagine, like here mm-hmm. in the US. You get yeah. to have like you know a set of like Posca marker with the selected colors and the paper and like the cool things. And then you go to your phone, open that app, and then you can learn from this teacher how to draw with that Posca marker and make a specific kind of art. And I thought that was pretty cute, you know? Like I feel like we've always I I've always wanted that. <laughs> like with quality yeah. Japanese tools. Yeah, I, I signed up for a subscription like that. Like at first I thought it was just like a subscription box thingy with Japanese like uni uniball products. But knowing that there's more and then like the Japanese creators are are finally I guess being more exposed to the the internet because I, mm-hmm. I do think there's like a this whole kind of like gap uh, in learning from Japanese creators or artists like they kind of live in the whole Japanese lifestyle bubble thingy mm-hmm. I, I feel like it's not very approachable for me who doesn't speak Japanese to discover or find them <laughs> but I don't know if this like kid thing became like actually I don't know if it's available internationally but at least the way they've been showcasing it on Instagram, like showcasing the artists and stuff on Instagram, makes me feel kind of like, oh, this 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 new artist is cool. Oh, she's doing stuff in her in her drawing book. One of her, one of the teacher actually opened up a Travers notebook. I was so surprised. <laughs> like she was <laughs> she was doodling in the Travers notebook with the like the weekly inserts and stuff. So. And I see Be- Bechori is on there too. Oh, of course he is. I didn't even <laughs> know that. <laughs> Yeah, he he must be teaching like calligraphy and like lettering with you know the uni ball emots, uh, the uni emots. And yeah, it's it's really cute, and I just want to see how far they are gonna take. Are they gonna start translating it into English so that other people can take it? And you know, yeah. I I would love to see people's unboxing of the kits. You know, it looks very totally. like simple and like nice, and and I I kind of want to see how uni. Mitsubishi Pencil takes their stuff from, you know, the, the already quality goods they create, but then, like, expanding it to really be involved with, like, the user's art or project, yeah. and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see how they're going to take this and if they're going to do, like, American versions of it or what. <laughs> I mean, Yeah, Uni-ball that would be is... really cool if you yeah. could do that, Uni. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, you know, this whole, all of this literature is, like, in Japanese and... Um, I it does not Google. appear to be available for international. I mean, there's an English, like, section, but it, as far as I can tell in this moment, it doesn't look like I could just straight up buy this right now. That's true. And maybe Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Have they even launched it yet? Maybe not. We're a bad podcast. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We don't anyway, know. <laughs> let's skip to the next topic now that things are uncomfortable. <laughs> Just kidding. It's all my fault. Um, all right. Okay. So this is pretty cute. This is our our own item. Um, so I don't actually remember if I've talked about my version of this. You have. I'm actually showcasing my mom because I mean she's not here right now. She's in the kitchen doing stuff. But I'm gonna show off her analog bag that she just got from bomb kuchen it's the superior labor so it's the same one that i have and i have mine here yeah you you showed up your rose latte yeah. one before with the black uh, the brown leather it's so nice it's really cute so mine's the rose latte and mom's is mocha so ah. we're both coffee drinks <laughs> <laughs> um I also wanted to point out the adorableness that we are because this is her weeks and this is my weeks. <laughs> so she Des- described she, the weeks. Can yeah. We? <laughs> yeah. She's got the, um, what is this? It says moon. Um, 
you know the Weeks cover that's it's like a navy blue and then it has this kind of pinstripe um, and it's a zip cover that came out in 2020. Um, so my mom has her um, chair and bucket Weeks and she's been using this as her wallet. And she Aww. has a like crappy little ball point in here. <laughs> <laughs> which, which Kelly is not impressed with. <laughs> and then my Weeks cover, I think a lot of you guys know, is the Minamo um, plaid, not plaid, but like the different color stripe. Um, the Mina Per Mina. design. Really yeah. Cool. So and you guys so, not you only know... have matching analog bags, <laughs> inside is a matching Hobonichi Weeks zipper pouch. It, and with like it's your pretty own cute. weeks <laughs> you guys are the perfect like i think modern other duo we're so sweet. we're just we're just the best duo and i wanted to tell the world about it so <laughs> and it this is it's pretty cool on these bags how i feel like i've had mine a, a couple months now and my like my leather straps are all like supple and stuff and then moms are brand new so they're kind of a little bit stiffer still stiff and i I just think it's cool to like compare them and now if we go cafe journaling together we will be the the talk of the town <laughs> have, you guys will have the iconic look <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah nice. yeah I, i'm awesome. still holding out on the analog bag like i feel like i said this a lot too like i feel like the right color combo has not come for me yet yeah like one day when there's that be- when there's a beautiful matcha green or a degree of green or a melon soda bag you know you would buy that in a heartbeat (laughs) there's a lot of color combos waiting for me in in i think the whole superior labor world not just bong so i'm i'm really excited to see like sometimes i would buy things too prematurely like i bought that um beige color like the new leather tool holder and then mm-hmm. Wonderlust by TSL came out with the beautiful mint, yeah, <laughs> like oh, like leather. Man. And I'm like, darn it, I should have got it and then. then. And your wallet was like sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I know Bong Hoon had like that cool nap case bag, like with like mm-hmm. it's like a, a thin bag with like two kind of like I think pockets in front with a with a thing covered. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I'm also still just waiting for a better color to come out for me. <laughs> like the beautiful mint blue color that I pre-ordered with Esther for their, yeah. I think it was their summer series that's not going to be available till like August. <laughs> What's well, almost yeah. here. <laughs> By the way, April, mm-hmm. we, we never talked about what we were drinking today. Oh, we totally skipped <laughs> over that part. Because <laughs> I actually made tea. <laughs> Okay, black before tea. before before April goes into her own stuff, you're drinking black tea. Is it from that that cool Portland tea place from, again? No, well, it's from Adagio, which is not Portland. It's just an online thing. <laughs> I'm not that cool. It's really good though. I put honey in it. <laughs> I'm on my second. Oh, I bought those too. <laughs> of Trader Joe's sparkling lemonade. It's so, so good. good. <laughs> It just oh it just gosh. went down so smoothly. I think we just both forgot. Yes. Like, there's too much to talk about today. <laughs> well, I think we just launched into Hobonichi, and then I was like, oh, wait, we're drinking things. I was all impressed that I am not drinking Lemon LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Hobonichi stole your thunder, essentially. It's true. <laughs> what What is your item that you're talking about? My Olive Traverse Notebook update. I still am mm. glad I got a hold of the all of tn because it's limited edition they don't seem to have planned to release it or anything and it just looks prettier and prettier every day i think mm-hmm. i saw on one of the posts on one of the facebook group where like under certain light it was this really lush olive green mm. and i just can't wait for mine to turn from like soy to patina it's kind of getting there but anyway I re kind of re customized, accessorized it. So I moved mm-hmm. my penguin clip from the rubber band to like the edge. You know how on top there's that little brass uh, thingy holding the strings together. Is it so brass? The, or maybe not brass. Maybe I think it's aluminum Ooh. or some some Metal kind of stuff. Miss Design Fill over here. <laughs> Metal stuff. So anyway, my penguin is like hanging over that that thing. And then yes. I changed this the rubber band to be orange and 
isn't that so job like like olive it really and orange is. <laughs> and then i got my new yoseki charm which i said i was gonna buy and i did and then which inside it's currently holding two of my most used insert which is one the stream journal which is made out of the turquoise teal mm. uh, insert uh, mixed with dark grid so i I think I bought both of those when I was in Oblation because <laughs> those <laughs> items are not available online. You can only go to the partner stores to get them. Yes. So there's that. And then I also have another insert that's like that mixes like Valen with like craft with Tomoe River paper. And I use that to do like um, journaling, collaging stuff. But in between all like... these, Kelly, mm. I finally <gasps> made the punch. Mm. And Ooh, it's I, so pretty. And I got the TF Limited <sighs> leather zipper case in regular size and brown. <laughs> I like, couldn't oh my resist. God. I really held out because I know it's been available since like June on the Traverse Company USA website. And they're leaving at the end of this <gasps> month. And, oh. And I keep telling myself, okay, we still have any left. If we still have any left, then I'm gonna buy it. And then as I see the numbers dwindle <laughs> down, I get a little bit more scared each day. <laughs> and I finally got to a certain amount on Shopify where I'm not comfortable with it anymore. So I was like, I'm just gonna get it. So yeah, oh, I it's now a reliable leather zipper case um, with six pockets on both sides. That is a lot. That I think the color again has that orange versus olive mm-hmm. combo that reminds me of Jove a lot. <laughs> yeah. That I really like. So I just really, really like my olive tea lately. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been putting like photos in the zipper case. So I usually collage in my Travis notebook. So I would print out photos in advance. And, you know, instead of using like a, a plastic you know l-shaped folder or something to hold it mm-hmm. i just put it in the zipper case nice and then i was thinking for the pockets because these are like what do you want like name card like business card size mm-hmm. i'm gonna put my <laughs> kita because if i don't put them out there i won't ever use them so my I kita know, right my kita tapes are fits just nice. perfectly in there and then cool. another thing I was thinking of putting are like the washi samples, the ones that I yes. have in like the playing card size. So yeah, I do that with mine. I put them in my little like zip cases by Traveler's Factory. <laughs> <laughs> I just have like a bunch of them hanging around, like this one that has like profanities on them. So good. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta. <laughs> and I decided this is really a good way to just kind of have all my little things here and there. Um, and then I think the last thing I needed to always remember to bring with my Travers notebook is that I always need to remind myself to bring a clip because I always yes. find myself in a situation where I'm journaling outside and then it doesn't stay flat and then I'm like, darn it, I need a clip. <laughs> so, yeah, and then it all comes crashing down. <laughs> I think I'll just permanently I'll just clip it onto the mm. one of the, I think I'll clip it onto the card side, the card holder side. Because it, it feels more stable and thin, mm-hmm. I think. So nice. there we go. The perfect um, Traverse notebook right now with just two inserts, not too much. And then like one zipper case and and it's perfect. It, it's a super good setup. You're making me jealous. I want one now. <laughs> oh, and I, I even forgot to mention the whole thing. Of, like, I don't know where people put it. I, I know these are like super nuances questions and like configurations. But I like my zipper pouch side near the front mm-hmm. instead of the other way which is on the back i don't know how you do it you know like i always have... put zipper on the back i know and then when you write <laughs> on it know. it gets in the way like the zipper mm-hmm. little things mm-hmm. rest right under your hand oh. like sometimes they just get into a weird angle and it wasn't See, until it actively bothered me for a long while with the with the b-sides cotton pouches <laughs> that i finally yeah, decided yeah. when i do this one i'm gonna put it in the front like the the pouch side is near the front. Yeah, the I mean that's that valid. I my little confession here is that I, if I'm journaling in a traveler's notebook, I rarely like keep it in the notebook when I'm journaling. I always take the insert out. Ooh. <laughs> that's 
Hot take. Are you a Kelly or an April? <laughs> but then how do you do the beautiful top down spread with like the inside of the No, letter? see, that's why you, you do the photo after. <laughs> <laughs> but then you lose the journaling and the leather experience. I know. It's, I just, I want to have my thing flat. <laughs> and then I'm like, the, the flattest way to get it is to just take it out. Am I doing it wrong? That makes a lot of sense, I guess. <laughs> but I, I like having it in there. And, you know, everything feels bumpy. It feels yeah. solid and nice. But, but yeah, that's that's my Traverse Notebook update. I haven't that's I haven't used my nice. olive in a while, so I'm really happy to break it out again. Nice. I'm, in my cycle has always been the, the Starbucks <laughs> Reserve one. And then for a while, oh, I, was, I was infatuated with my blue one because it was secondhand from a friend. And it's so pretty and like you know how my olive still feels a little sweaty this blue mm-hmm. one like it's no longer there it's so no, smooth that's, that's how nice. my blue one feels so there there's that and what are you thinking about getting lately kelly well you know i was just looking at jet pens and they've got a few it looks like they're doing some uh korean buying lately which is always fun i this just gives me a like Korean stationary product vibe. I think I'm correct about that. <laughs> um, so there's this brand called Daily Like, and it's all one word. It says it's a removable sticker, which I don't really understand what that's all about. Like, why do you need to move it? But Oh, you mean like if you put it down, it's not sticky enough to, to stay in one place, you can move it around? Right, which like I a, guess could be useful in certain cases. Like but. a fuzen texture? Mm, interesting. Possibly, yeah. I'm I'm a little confused about it, but they have... It, it's like a, your standard sticker sheet size, um, or maybe one of the like slimmer ones. Mm-hmm. And there's all sorts of little themes. What, they even have a mukbang, or muk, however you say that, I'm sorry. Muk- um, a mukbang. <laughs> yeah, mukbang, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is my American coming out? Um, <laughs> um, so, <laughs> yeah, there's like a mukbang uh, themed sticker sheet that just has like little bears eating a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I like. Got, like I, I, I like the song with the bear wearing these like gymnastic suits and just doing yes. a bunch of like dances. <laughs> yes, the aerobic one, and there's mm-hmm. there's of course coffee, there's cafe. Um, there's like nighttime, daytime, daily tasks. I thought they were super cute and um, worth mentioning. And then along with that, there's a brand called Jam Studio uh, that has this kind of traveler's notebook looking situation that um, has, is like a, a sticker album for long sticker sheets like oh. I was just talking about. I was about so to say, it's, it doesn't look like the dimension of Traverse Notebook. It's a little bit no, more, it's just, like... I just meant the fact that it's got the elastic band, and it just kind <laughs> of looks like that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. But um, it's just full of, like, plastic folders to slide your, um, like, slide in from the... It's side-loading. From the center, um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I am always looking for more storage options. <laughs> and is it because of that interesting aqua like transparent color that appeals to you i remember you had like that really pink like neon cover for one of your planners maybe two years ago or oh. a year ago or something <laughs> yeah, it reminded me it reminded me a lot of like that like that really mm. retro like kind of plasticky look this is another thing that looks like an american diner like seat <laughs> Oh yes, actually the color combos too. That that yeah. kind of pukey orange, oh, sorry, pukey yes. yellow <laughs> with the teal. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, you sorry know. we call it pukey, but it's endearing. Like if I have a retro, <laughs> if I am a retro diner, I would sit in that seat. <laughs> okay, pukey but endearing. That should be like an April quote. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag. I love that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, yeah. I, I completely know what you mean though when you look at this. If you go on Japan's and look at the group of these different folders, you'll see what we mean. <laughs> and so these pockets, like you said, that they're like they hold long sticker sheets, but they're mm-hmm. a little bit wider than what you would imagine, like a Traverse Oak dimension where it looks a little bit more rectangular. This one is wider, so it would actually fit like 
wider sheets like the Apri sticker sheets、mm-hmm. or other more general size like fatter wider sticker sheets or even like ephemera or like paper、yes. and pieces. So I think this is very like multi use, not just a sticker album. It could fit a lot of different things. Yeah,、mm. and I'm. I mean, I've been wanting to place a jet pens order specifically so that I can get another Hobonichi photograph holder thing that I can put my little sticker <laughs> sheets in, and so maybe I should put that in there too. Because I、sucker. love my photo <laughs> album from Hobonichi. I'm still、yes. using one I bought like from three years ago, and the bottom <laughs> edges are starting to tear. You know、oh, how like、yeah. they were like tear. <laughs> And it's just the it's just the nature of this kind of material and like the album it is in. But、yeah. I already ordered like an extra one <laughs> to replace I, it. I、once. I have two and I need like two more. So <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay,、yeah. and then for me, I know I talked about this a little bit in the Stationery Cafe <laughs> newsletter that came out last month, <laughs> and Kelly was and like, "April,、hey, <laughs> have you seen this?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Kelly, you edited." The newsletter. Did you not read my article? <laughs> the only writer and the only editor, like not、oh, understanding what's in it. <laughs> I I swear I read what I post, but I guess maybe I was just like on edit brain, and I was like, "Cool, this is perfect. All right, let's get it out there." <laughs> it is the last article on that <laughs> newsletter, so <laughs> it's so funny. So but, I thought yeah, I. These are- I thought I'd bring it up for Kelly's sake again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for reiterating this because it's it's very they're so cute they they keep doing the cute packaging and it's like Uni can you stop? <laughs> yep, we're calling we're we're talking about the Uni Ball One,、um, mm. beautiful color again coming out with limited edition with like new colors with fun names and. So they had already the first one was the study time, right? So there was like daytime, nighttime, study time.、Mm-hmm. The second edition was that spring and summer edition where one of them has like the the bird, the warbler bird, and the second one、mm-hmm. has like the ramune colors, the very spring colors. And then in the interim, they did one for Bungu Joshi that has all the cities or like the interesting places、right. in which they repackage some of the old colors. So there there wasn't any new colors introduced there. But this new one called the Fruit Tea Edition, <sighs> brand new colors. Like I think there's nine new colors,、um, but they're packaged in packs of four, in which they always throw in one fully black pen.、Mm-hmm. But at least the whole body of the pen is white, so that's interesting.、Um, but nine new colors named after fruits or tea or elements of that. Fruity tea party, and、mm-hmm. um, I probably won't go through all the colors, but I'm super excited about. Not surprise,、mm-hmm. spearmint green tea,、um, and then particularly the Valencia orange and the hibiscus tea. So the, yeah, the first two are like variations of green. Most excited about green tea, <laughs> and then of course, and, and then hibiscus tea is this really interesting kind of like orangey red, I think. And Valencia orange is just orange, and I loved it.、Um, you know how I raved about Mikan when the Shachiata <laughs> came out with that color, and then I actually have a orange here from Uni Ball One、um, when they came out with that summer edition, and it was was it also kind of like I think it was apricot was the color.、Mm-hmm. It's like a type of fruit, orangey fruit there. But this one's Valencia orange, so I'm excited to see. What the color variation is like? Yeah. Which one are you most excited about? I mean,、yeah. I am always curious about seeing how yellow gel pens or any、mm. sort of pen, right? Like the Sicilian lemon. <sighs> I like the name of that color. I like that set the most because it's like. Kind of pastel kawaii girl, which is what I am on the inside. <laughs> It's got blueberry and fig, right? I think. No, no.、Um, well, it has fig and butterfly pea. <laughs> oh, butterfly pea! That's the flower of that fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see. I see. Blueberry was in another pack. <laughs> yeah, blueberries is with the hibiscus and the cassis. I don't even know how to say cassis correctly. Is it? <laughs> Isn't cassis? Oh, cassis is kind of like a the grapes, right? Like when、yep. you make wine or something like that. We totally know what we're talking about. I do not know what I was talking about. Anyway, <laughs> we're、and、really so,、uh, we research so, so hard. So here's the thing: these are all 
0.38 milliliters. Yes. Which is uh-huh. for the true fans. Of Uniball no. DX. I think Uniball Signal DX 0.38 is like my ride or die black pen. <laughs> um, and then when they came out with these interesting colors, they've always done like a little bit of them in 0.5 and then only some of them in 0.38. You can't get mm-hmm. like either. Um, but this set, I think they just decided, okay, yeah, 0.38 is the way to go. And so everything is 0.38. Which I'm happy I'm kind of confused about the color they chose for fig. I, it's it's like a pale pink. Yeah, you Is can't. Is it like meant to you, be the inside of a fig? <laughs> you know how Uniball one has like the just a single color on top where the, where the mm-hmm. clicky part is. It does not represent the color at all. So yeah. you you you'll have to see how it writes. Oh, <laughs> okay, sw- cool. The, the nice. swatch will be very very different, I assume. <laughs> Don't figs... Oh, we have a fig tree. I should know what color they are. <laughs> I know you're kind of thinking about that more like dark purple-ish mm-hmm. fig color, yeah. right? Yeah, well, so what's up? Maybe Japanese figs are just pinker, <laughs> I guess. Well, maybe they are. That's an interesting point. <laughs> I'm like looking up Japanese figs right now. <laughs> they are a lighter color. Are they? Some oh. of them. Hora- horaishi. Fix. Horaishi. I've never heard of that before. I'm not. Yeah, or I'm not yeah. with it, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Japanese fix. Or maybe it's like you know, before they're really, really ripe, they're a little bit lighter pink. I don't know. Again, we're we're talking about fruits, and we're not yep. experts on fruits, but <laughs> we like pens <laughs> with fun names. <laughs> that's that's and it. And melon soda that's green. <laughs> I know. I'm surprised they didn't do that to me yet, but you know. Oh, they will. They I'm will sure. probably some at some point. And you know, from how this is going, I can already anticipate a chestnut color come fall. Um, maybe and kabocha for pumpkin. Kabocha oh for gosh. sure. Yes. Apples, maybe you know all and the yeah, or um yams. Wait, per... yeah, y- yeah, the yeah, sweet potato, sweet potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and so you know, it's it's just a matter of how they want to package it. We already know those colors are coming. <laughs> we already want them. It's like we anything are... fall, I will buy you. I feel like I haven't seen Uniball really do any like Halloween like specific package products before. And it's very common here, uh, right? I'm wearing my my morbid planchette shirt today. <laughs> like, nice. come at me with all your. Imagine Halloween they package goods. one in like black, like the case, like the box is black, and then the color is like this neon, mm. neon yellow green, like purple, or like cat's then, eye, cat's oh eye my yellow. Goodness. Oh. If they do, I can totally see them do a cat edition of this. Oh my god. <laughs> I know Kelly and I were just like we're doing the work here. We're doing the work for Uniball. <laughs> yeah, come on, just put us in a room together and let's come up with like the next four quarters worth of stuff. <laughs> I could have said year, but I said four quarters instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and finally, to wrap up the episode, we usually mention a few things that are quite interesting. Something we may or may not have already bought, or <laughs> in my case. It's we bought it already, but I want to bring it up again. But for Kelly, <laughs> it's not enough to be in her I want list. But it's bordering on I it. I mean, it, it definitely is enough to be in my I want list. And in fact, several people like at id me um, <laughs> about the Magic of Alice 2021 Sailor Pro Gear by Boongoo Box. Because apparently, I didn't even remember talking about it on the podcast before, but Con- wasn't it Connie from Pepper Con Arts was like, yeah, you totally talked about this. Why aren't you getting it? I'm like, wait, did I? <laughs> <laughs> because because I saw this the original version of this pen in 2019 and I didn't buy it because I was like, that's too expensive. And now I'm like, oh, maybe this is just the way the world is. <laughs> so it's... <coming> it's <laughs> Yeah, the the pen itself is like a white body and then the the finial the like the bottom finial and the cap color are a light blue, which is very Alice in Wonderland esque. The nib has a key motif on it, and then the the top finial is the rodden like 
what are those like abalone I, mm-hmm. am i wrong about it being abalone rob rodden that material that's like super colorful and sparkly mm-hmm. and then it also has maquille detailing on the top which is like that hand is it hand painted japanese art mm-hmm. yep yeah um so it's made to look like a kaleidoscope at the top which is new the older edition didn't have that mm. so i mean oh and it looks like there's some sparkly bits in the grip section as well i don't know if that's in the whole pen it's hard to tell on this but yeah. i mean see why i was like kelly do you like want this and i'm like yes but i'm saving for the pen show and i'm trying to be good i'm like am i even gonna find something at the pen show that's better than this like <laughs> let's be real here because he was like there are no japanese vendors going to that pen show and i'm like excuse you <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know so the copy on bungu box is written specifically for kelly at the ending sentence it says the magic of Alice was sure to charm you in 2021 as it did in 2019. As if it's taunting you for brushing by it during the Tokyo International Pen Show. I love it. It knew. I was literally in that line. like, And someone asked me, do you want this pen? Because I'm selling it to you right now. And I was like, nope, I'm only here for Zodiac inks for my friends. And I'm like, why did I do that? And now you're an established woman. 2020 <laughs> changes us. You know, we are all yes. grown up. And we understand where the priorities are now <laughs> in life. Yes, we do. We certainly do. I, <laughs> I look back on my 2019 self and wonder what she was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, hopefully you get it. It's, it's so cool. It's, I know, it's, it's like, so cool. And do you have the Tears of Alice ink? I forgot if you do. I don't. But I have some inks that are similar. I remember <laughs> you were talking about the Tears of Alice ink on the show, uh, on right? The podcast. So, and then I didn't buy that either because I was like, whatever, that's so expensive for an ink. Nope. <laughs> so to make up for the shipping, which we know is crazy expensive to buy from Bungo Box, perhaps you should yes. just throw in the ink in there. You're not wrong. I mean, <laughs> Halloween is a holiday to celebrate right you can like think about celebrating halloween or like celebrating oh the passage of 2021 like in advance there's a there's a lot of ways to to justify this beautiful i pen. also didn't even realize that the the main like band around the cap it says magic of or no yeah it says magic of ellis with a suit of playing with cards the, with the with a card suit oh that's so cool that's it <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Okay, I'm I'm closing this tab because I'm mad now. <laughs> this is what taunting you? you right there. Oh my gosh! So what what are you talking about, April? Well, to cheer you up, our <laughs> color verse. Um, ten states so far released the USA inks by Colorverse are being shipped. Mm-hmm. So now we need to have the Yay. important conversation: who's mm-hmm. getting which one? Because oh we bought. Gosh all 10 colors and i'm gifting five to kelly mm. but i would like to call dibs on from cali that's okay because <laughs> oh, okay. that I, reminds me a lot of blue maya sodas by urban actually the it's kind of like this purpley color like kind of i love how like the image is like this kind of like diner with the palm trees and that kind of sunset look but i feel like you have inks that are this color like you know the sea slug looks like this mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. I feel like the sea slug is more Himeaji Sai, which you sold. Yes. So this is no. the redeeming in color <laughs> for me. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. I really think that this is more similar to Aji Sai by Pilot Roshi Zuku or Blue Myasotis by Urban. Or like if those two colors had a baby, it would be this color. Um it's like a periwinkle. Yeah, kind of like a purpley periwinkle color. So I would like that, please. Oh man! So now so you good you one. get oh. to call the second one. We're doing this on the show. <laughs> oh oh okay okay. I'm immediately drawn to Tar Heel for some reason, even though it's just a blue. 
Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. I like it. And it reminds me of my brother because he had a hat with the Tar Heels on it, like, when he was <laughs> in high school. And <laughs> it was like... Isn't that, like, a sports team, right? Like, a yeah. college sports team? <laughs> North yeah. Carolina Tar Heels. Oh, I like that color. It's pretty. All right, you can have that one. All right. Okay. Again, I'm calling this second choice. Okay. Okay. Ch- Ch- Chai Town. I really like that glistening, and the way there's like this brown purple swirling and this seemingly mm-hmm. black ink, really glorious. That is really and nice. I have really fond memories of Chicago. Um, <laughs> growing up here for the past six years <laughs> i've never been there all right it's okay i can have try town right <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh nice. i'm trying then, to think what's my what's my number two i'll let you pick the next two actually because okay. i feel like i got the only glistening ink in this series <laughs> i mean that's fine i have so many glistening inks. um i'm kind of interested to be honest i'm interested in that chesapeake bay yeah, that I looks so like cool. Boring no, no, no. I I wanted that one. If you look in the show notes, I, I put in oh, Chesapeake oh, I didn't Bay because it. it's kind of like this cool. So it, this color in my paint palette, we have a color that's mm-hmm. this color that's made mm-hmm. by Daniel Smith. And it's it's a beautiful color. And I, I'm forgetting the name. Sarah's going to kill me. Um, but it's so beautiful. Like it's very beigey very like earth-like tone Mm -hmm. and it's kind of has that kind of it's not really like silver like glistening silver or something but just has that little like shade that muted look i really like that but you can have it i i'm I'm fine with you (laughs) taking that color oh i'm kind of torn for the next ones uh i like both the red rock and the green goddess I also do like the Tex-Mex, but I feel like I have so many reds. I, I thought you would like the Tex-Mex. <laughs> I do. Enough. Okay, and just now I remember the name. It's called Buff Titanium from Daniel oh. Smith. That looks just like the Chesapeake Bay, and it's so nice. pretty. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I think for number three, I'm going Red Rock. Nice. Red Rock. I love the sheen on that one. It has like a green sheen on this like muddy red color. Um, I think I would really like Cape May. It reminds me a little bit of oh. Organic Studio, um, kind of that nitrogen nitrogen look with the with the purple and the blue and like some interesting shading. And it's Cape May's in New Jersey, so yeah, mm. I'm just kind of going back to the the memory route, the memory <laughs> route. <laughs> this reminds me of Polar Glow by Diamine a little bit. Yes, you. I see your swatches of it. And I remember saying then it's like nitrogen from Organic Studio. <laughs> yeah. My points of reference are very little. <laughs> I feel like I have to choose a Green Goddess though. Take take Green Goddess. I that green is too so minty pretty. for me. What? Yeah. Why are, you, why are you so picky about your greens? I am picky. Otherwise, I'd be owning all the inks in the world. People always come up like with me. Greens. <laughs> By the all way, right. speaking of that, are, just really quick, are you going to be buying the ink vent calendar? Because you said you would. I, I think I think I'm going to do it this year. They, they're coming okay. with a new one, right? And I was hoping because last year there's so many reds, apparently. I know, that, it was so annoying. <laughs> that they would go a little bit more green this year. <laughs> my, yes. My hope. So definitely will let you try out or have some that I don't like. But okay, I just want to, I just wanted it on a recording so that I can refer to it later. Okay. <laughs> What's <laughs> just got me on, <laughs> on the line. So- all right, I think so my fourth next? one would be Gentle Terrier. Like I mentioned before, I love oh, that really? little. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I love that little well, puppy that's look. Your... And then the, it's got a very cool black color, and I don't like any of the other black inks. <laughs> so I'd rather go for a very special color versus shading one, you know? <laughs> like if, if I were to own a black ink. <laughs> so. And it is that is ref- referencing Boston, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So I, I needed to have it. basically all the dark ones, right? I have the from Cali, Chai Town, Gentle Terrier, and Cape May. And okay, well, just to spare you from owning a blue ink, I'll take Rocky Blue and you can have Tex-Mex. <laughs> and I can have Tex-Mex. <laughs> because and I know just you complain, You complain about red already anyway. 
I have so many from the Inkvent calendar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Enjoy Rocky Blue. It, it is a pretty blue, though. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I don't. Tex Mex is really cool. I want to. I want to see that. It's like a dark, darker red, but not super dark. And then it's got like a, what would you call that? Like a brown shading almost. Mm-hmm. I think it's interesting. I actually don't have any red ink, so this would be my first one. Uh, it mm-hmm. straight up looks like hot sauce. You know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, yeah. yeah. That, it does oh, that's look cool. Like I'm, wait, April, do you have the inks right now, or are they shipped? They're they're like not yet received by USPS. Oh man, I hate that. I hate I know that. Why you... even tell me, right? Oh. Like, can you just tell me when it's already in transit? <laughs> I don't want to see that the vendor has sent out the paper and like not go to the post office. So <laughs> I know it's like, oh, I don't. These are things we don't need to know. <laughs> Anyway, I hope today's episode is fun um, for listeners. We did kind of go off the rail a little bit in many places. I hope it's not too long. (laughs) And did not do good research, but, you know, this is just for fun. (laughs) This is just for fun. We have fun here, and we have opinions, and we don't research. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's not true. We research a little bit. (laughs) But we don't go the full, like, 10 miles. Sorry. (laughs) That's what CY's podcast is for. (laughs) (laughs) Go listen to Tokyo Inklings. I can't wait to see what he has to say about the USA. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my gosh, me too. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with us for this long. We hope you enjoy it. As always, you can support us at, you know, follow our Instagram, check our website. Kelly and I have a Patreon where we try to be a little bit more serious and more researched over there. Um, But we look forward to bringing you another good, fun episode of Happy Hour next week. Bye, Kelly. Bye, April.